Hi everyone, today we will discuss a bit about the cure of HIV. So the most important question to answer is, can HIV be cured up to now? Firstly, we need to understand what a cure for HIV is. There are two types of HIV cures, the functional cure and the eradication cure, or you can call it the complete cure. A functional cure for HIV means that we can suppress the viral load to a very low amount, so low that even when we don't use ART or antiretroviral therapy, the viral load will not rebound immediately. But with this type of cure, the patients must be monitored frequently, which is annoying sometimes. On the other hand, the eradication cure means that we completely remove the virus from the body. This is the gold standard, the ideal for many infectious diseases. The main challenge is that HIV is hiding inside our immune cells as well as infecting the human genome with its HIV RNA. So not only it is hard to kill, it's also hard to get rid of its trace. Scientists have tried various methods. We try forcing the virus out of the cell and kill them. We try putting the virus into deep sleep. We try genetic modification. We try adding other sources of antibody components and hope to suppress reactivation or kill the infected cells. Significant efforts are poured into the research for a complete cure. Many different approaches have been studied and tested, but a functional cure is the best it can get as for now. So, in short, we cannot completely cure HIV just yet, but progress is being made. So hopefully in the next 10 years or so, we will have the good news. Just a quick note that if anyone comes to you and says that this medicine or that medicine can cure HIV completely, don't believe them just yet. Please talk to your doctor first and verify the information because if anything can truly cure HIV, then it is worth a Nobel Prize and it will be famous in no time already. Now that is the answer for the cure of HIV, there is no therapy known to get rid of HIV for now. But if you change the question to, is there anyone known to get rid of HIV? The answer is, surprisingly, a yes. And not only one, but six individuals are believed to have HIV eradicated from their bodies. Let's take a look at these cases. The first case of HIV cured is Timothy Ray Brown, also known as the Berlin patient. He was the first person to be cured of HIV. He was diagnosed with HIV in 1995 while living in Berlin. In 2006, he developed acute myeloid leukemia, a type of blood cancer, and underwent a bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplants. Interestingly, the donor had double copies of a rare gene mutation known as CCR5 Delta 32 that results in missing CCR5 co-receptors on T cells, which is usually the gateway for HIV to infect the cells. He also underwent intensive chemotherapy and whole body radiotherapy to kill off his cancer cells, which may allow the stem cells to help him rebuild a new HIV resistant system. Brown stopped ART at the time of his first transplant and survived for 14 years without any sign of HIV returning despite extensive testing. Unfortunately, Brown passed away in 2020 due to blood cancer. The second case of HIV cured is Adam Castillo, also known as the London patient. Like the Berlin patient, Castillo was also cured of HIV not by medication, but by a stem cell treatment he received for a blood cancer he had, in this case, it was Hodgkin lymphoma. The donor of those stem cells also had the CCR5 mutation and this helped rebuild Castillo immune system and provide protection against HIV. He has remained free of the virus for about five years after stopping ART. The third case of HIV cured is Mark Frank, the Dusseldorf patient. He was diagnosed with HIV in 2008 and later with acute myeloid leukemia. Just like the other two cases, Frank underwent a stem cell transplant to treat leukemia in 2013, with donor cells also containing the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. But he was more cautious, he did not stop ART until 2018. Later in 2023, he was declared cured from HIV after more than four years of extensive testing with HIV negative. The fourth case of HIV cured is the New York patient whose name is protected. But notably, this is the very first female case known to be cured of HIV. She received a haplocord blood transplant to treat leukemia in 2017. This is a different kind of stem cell transplant used in circumstances where it is difficult to find a close genetic match. This method will use cells from more than one donor. In this case, umbilical cord blood from a donor with the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation was used alongside cells from a relative without the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. After the transplant, she continued taking ART for three years after. And in February 2022, it had been 14 months without HIV rebound since the stop of ART. 
The fifth case of HIV cured is Paul Edmonds, the City of Hope patient is a Californian named after the cancer center where he was treated. He was diagnosed with AIDS in 1988. In 2018, he was also diagnosed with leukemia. After chemotherapy, Edmonds received a stem cell transplant from a donor with CCR5 Delta 32 mutation that makes them resistant to HIV. The transplant worked. Not only did Edmonds go into remission for his cancer, but he also had no trace of HIV in about two years since. And that makes him the fifth person ever to be cured of HIV. And finally, the sixth case of HIV cured is the Geneva patient, a Swiss man. Despite being the last on the list, he is the first one to be cured of HIV by transplantation without CCR5 Delta 32 mutation. He was diagnosed with HIV in 1990. He had been taking ART treatment continuously, which fully suppressed HIV since 2005. Later, he developed a rare and aggressive type of blood cancer and underwent chemotherapy and whole body radiotherapy before receiving a stem cell transplant in 2018. This time, the donor did not have the CCR5 Delta 32 mutation and the transplantation did not go smoothly. The Geneva patient had graft versus host disease and needed to take ruxolitinib medication. Interestingly, this ruxolitinib has also been shown to reduce HIV reservoir. As of 2024, it has been about two years since he stopped ART treatment and the man still has undetectable viral load despite using ultra-sensitive tests. This fascinating instance may lead to new strategies for scientists to work on the cure of HIV. Now after reviewing the six cases above, we can see that all of these patients were cured of HIV through stem cell transplantation, with the primary objective was to cure cancer. The eradication of HIV was but a beautiful blessing for their perseverance, their will to die fighting, and their wish for a happy life. Transplantation methods are invasive, bearing high risk, and not suitable for most people with HIV. We are stepping one step closer, but still, more research is needed to develop less invasive and more widely applicable treatments. I think we can end the video here and hope that it can bring you some helpful info. If you want to know more about the basics of HIV, HIV prevention, or HIV diagnosis, you are always welcome to find them on my channel. Bye for now! The information provided on this channel is for general informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment.